Today we are invited to reflect upon the image of the Messiah as O King of David. King David was seen as a royal power of Israel whose kingdom would have no end. When God establishes his covenant with King David, he entrusts him with the power to govern and care for Israel's people. God gives King David the keys to the kingdom. Keys are symbolic and seen as a sign of power. The one who holds the keys can open those things that were once locked. The holder of the keys can grant access to places that are behind closed doors. God is faithful to the covenant he formed with King David. The kingdom continues through Mary, a descendant of King David, who delivers the eternal king into the world. Every step Mary took to Bethlehem was one step closer to giving the world the key of David, which would set us free. Isaiah had prophesied, all will place the key of the house of David on his shoulder. When he opens, no one will shut. When he shuts, no one will open. Let us pray. O King of us all, we find ourselves standing before your strength and splendor, watching and waiting in these final days of Advent. You lift our mind in hope. Now help us to open our life to the coming of the Spirit. Help us want to be like Mary, your mother. May her wonderful courage and strength inspire us to do the same. She simply said, yes, and the impossible was done. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for the quiet moments when I have felt your love. Help us want to be like King David and Mary, Queen of Heaven and Earth, as we place our trust in you and say nothing will be impossible with God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Glory to God alone, today and always. 